Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a wing liner using four different eyeliner products. And the reason that I'm doing that is because eyeliner seems very intimidating to a lot of people, especially a wing. So I just want to show you that it's simple, easy, may not be for everybody, but you can do it. So in addition, I thought it'd be extra fun if I would be sipping on some tequila while showing you. Uh, but before we get started, if you guys could please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell. That way you can be notified of all my future uploads. Because at this point, who knows what's going to come next. Alright, let's get started. So first things first, let me just pour me a drink. That should be okay. Salute. So with this tequila, the Senor Rio, this is the Añejo. It's aged two years, so it has a really, really smooth uh, aftertaste. It's a good sipping tequila. You should really try it. The products that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using a brush tip liner, a felt tip liner, a gel liner, and an eyeliner pencil. So the first one I'm going to be using is by e.l.f. and this is the brush tip liner and I'm going to be putting that on my right side and then I'll be using the felt tip liner which is by L'Oreal. It's the super slim liquid eyeliner and these are all black. I typically always wear black eyeliners depending on the eye look that I have. Sometimes I'll use colors or browns. The application is going to be the same way. So you start from your outer eye and you draw a line up towards your the tip of your eyebrow and then you'll go right below the ending point and start a line back towards the center of your eyelid. And then you'll color it in or fill it in and then you start from obviously your inner eye and just trace your eyelid. So I usually start from the inner eye and you can make it a thin line or you can make it a thicker line, whatever looks better on your eye shape um, or you know depending on the eye look that you're doing. So at this point I will continue down to the edge of my eye and then let's start making the wing. And now we're going to fill it in. And when you trace it back down, you don't have to go directly to the center of your eye. You can go a little bit below, just depending if you want a big wing or a little wing. And if you mess up, then you can just use a concealer and a flat brush to kind of, you know, fix the line. Or you can use a makeup wipe, depending if you have your base down or not. And there you go. So on this side, I'm going to be using the felt tip liner. And the method that I'm showing you is all freehand. There are other ways that you can do it. You can use a piece of tape and then just trace that. Just make sure that both pieces of tape are equal. Um, you can use a card. You can use their specific tape that they have for it. Um, but I just like using the freehand method. So again, I'm going to start from the inner corner of my eye and trace. And at this point, I'm going to be making my line from the outer part of my eye towards the tip of my eyebrow. And 
we have wings. So a wing liner is really not that difficult. Freehand, again, may seem a little intimidating, but just take your time, slow movements, slow strokes, and practice makes perfect. So you'll be able to get it, whether it's a brush tip or whether it's a felt tip. So I'm gonna go clean this off. And then we're gonna move on to the gel liner and the pencil eyeliner. And as you can see, I don't have any type of eyeshadow on or mascara. I wanted to give you a clean canvas and show you the space that I'm working with. Um, if you have hooded eyes, you still do the same method as far as outer corner up to the tip of your eyebrow uh, or the edge of your eyebrow, and then bring it back down. But when you come back down, you just need to find the line where your eye crease is at and just kind of make it up to that point. That way, when you blink or when you look down, look up, you see the eyeliner and you also see the wing, if that makes sense. So in this next go around, I'm gonna be using a gel liner on the right side and then I'm gonna be using a gel pencil on the left side or an eyeliner pencil on the left side. Um, so for the gel liner, this is the Pretty Vulgar, the ink, and then I'm going to be using a Morphe M250-1 to match with it. And it just looks like this, and I've used it before, so it has some eyeliner on it. And then the pencil is going to be LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner, and it just looks like this. So I think the most difficult is gonna be the eyeliner pencil, but either way, it can be done. So I just wanna show you that. So let's get started with the right side. I'm gonna open up my gel liner and just kinda dip in. And I'm just wiping off the excess that I don't need because I don't wanna go in you know, too heavy handed. So the next side, let's get our pencil. So there we have the wing liner with the pencil and with the gel. So make sure you comment down below and let me know which product is your favorite to use for a wing liner. I would have to say that mine is a felt tip. That's the one that I feel most comfortable with. I feel like I can make the line across my eyelid as thin or as thick as I want it to be. And I feel like I have a lot of control with it, especially to make those sharp edges and bring it back down. Sometimes I'll do a small wing or a large wing, just depending on how I'm feeling that day. Um, but yeah, it's not a hard process at all. Um, and again, some people just feel like they can't do it or they don't know how. So I hope that this video was helpful to show that you are able to do it, you know, depending on what type of product that you have, you can make it work. And of course this tequila is tasting real good. And it's a really, really good sip in tequila. I feel like as I've gotten older, I don't want to take shots all the time. In my early 20s, or 21 and over, I was really, really into vodka. That was my drink, I could take shots, mix it with anything that I wanted. And then in my early 20s, I wake up with no hangover, I'd be ready to go the next day. And then, of course, as the years go by, you get those hangovers and you feel like crap the next day and you got to go to work, you got to go to school, but it makes a little bit of a 
problematic situation to function. But with this tequila, it's very, very enjoyable. You just pour yourself a shot or two and just sip it, have a conversation, do your makeup, relaxes you, kind of takes the edge off. Um, I really, really enjoy it. And I think that they recently just came out with this tequila. So you can get it at Total Wine. My boyfriend is a huge tequila fan. So of course I kind of jumped on that train <laughs> with no problem. Um, and I really do enjoy it. So I would definitely suggest getting a taster of it or, I mean, my close friends, hello, come on over. <laughs> And again, it doesn't have a bad aftertaste. It has a very smooth finish, it makes you feel good. Um, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one.